So I'm Sim, I run Democracy Club with my colleague Joe over there. Um, it's actually kind of weird because we're a club, so we've got like me and Joe, we do work there full time, then we've got about 50 of us who are sort of volunteers who dip in. And then we do some crowdsourcing, so we've got about 1,500 people who help us crowdsource, and then we've got about 1,000 people on the list. So the, the club sort of extends out, and hopefully we want kind of everyone to, to feel like they can be in it. Um, we do three, three things. Um, one is sort of data, data services around the UK, so getting stuff from councils and government and making good data around that. Uh, we have the club, which is kind of a way of people getting involved in democracy in a non-partisan way. We're, we're not a political party, but you can kind of engage with us in the way that you could a political party, like helping do volunteering and stuff. Um, and we provide sort of tools and services around the data in the club, which is which can aggravate. Uh, the main thing we did was a website in 2015 called yournextmp.com, which uh, listed every candidate. It's actually really interesting what Chloe was saying about this information on the, on the internet. Like, there is no information on the internet uh, uh, about democracy. So I'm going to try an experiment I've never done before. Like, who here lives in the UK, in any country in the UK? Is it probably most people? Okay. And who here, over the age of 18, I apologise, Chloe, uh, has a vote on May the 5th this year? Okay, quite quite well done. Actually, everyone in the UK has a vote on May the fifth this year, um, but probably it's quite hard to find out what you can vote for or who you can vote for. Like, you have a police and crime commission vote if you live in England or Wales, so that's like everyone in England and Wales. In Scotland, the Northern Ireland, you have um, uh, your devolved government assemblies, um, or you have local council assemblies. It's quite hard to work out wh if your local council has a, has an election this year or not. Most councils have been looking at them over the last couple of weeks don't have on their website the fact they have an election this year coming up, it's a bit weird. Um, and even if they do have an election, you can't find out which of the wards are up for election. So that's like one, one weird thing about, like a very basic thing, if you want to find out about, about democracy and you want to find out about whether you can vote on something, knowing when there's an election is quite important to do. Um, the other thing is, even if there is an election, you don't know who's standing, you don't know why they're standing, you don't know who they are. It's probably the incumbent who's standing again, but um, it'd be really nice if you could like go on their Facebook page and like look at the person who's standing and figure out what they're about. See if you agree with them, have a discussion with them, all that kind of stuff. Um, the third thing is, if you decide like if you if you like go through all these steps, which is quite difficult to go through, like you figure out there's an election, you figure out there's someone you want to vote for, or that or that you might want to stand yourself, so you might want to be in the election. Finding out where you're going to vote is also quite difficult to do. You get a little postcard from the council they send to you, which like you might throw away or you might lose or you might put it somewhere safe and then forget about it. And like, if you if you don't remember the address of the place that's on that postcard, like, how are you going to find out where to vote? Um, there, there's no like Google can't just tell you here, here's where I'm going to vote, or like you can't get a, just go on a website somewhere and figure that out. That's not possible. So um, what we're doing is trying to fix all of those problems. Um, we made some inroads in 2015 uh, with your next MP. We did a polling station project that got about five percent of councils. Uh, uh, on them because lots of them didn't want to send us their data on where polling stations were. Um, this year for May we're, we're doing a bigger push, we're trying to figure out uh, exactly which elections are happening where so you can find out which wards in your council are up for election. Um, you can find out who is standing for election in every, in every election in the UK, there's a lot of them happening uh, and you can find out where to vote. We're trying to do all those things, we kind of need everyone's help, that's where the club bit comes in. Um, we're, we're offering more for free, we're just kind of doing it as a, as a way of uh, trying to make the election better. So any help you can give us would be amazing. Um, and come and talk to me afterwards. Thanks.